anticipatory maintenance on automated equipment improves order picking efficiency and productivity while reducing inventory. Organizations are utilizing the efficiencies gained by using automation, including carousels and vertical lift modules, or VLMs, in their facilities to compete in the global economy. Today's Automated Storage and Retrieval Systems, or ASRS, include horizontal and vertical carousels and VLMs, are engineered and robust and provides reliability and performance that rivals any production equipment, even those of common household appliances. These systems are mechanical and as such are subject to wear. If not recognized and repaired, wear can lead to unexpected equipment downtime and that can create serious disruptions in business operations. A way to avoid these downtime issues is through active management of the maintenance function. With the focus on a technique of preventive maintenance called anticipatory maintenance. A reliability availability primer. In order to understand anticipatory maintenance, it's necessary to understand terms associated with equipment performance. The reliability of a system is a measure of its ability to do what it's designed to do for a specific period of time. System reliability measurement assumes that the equipment is operating within the conditions and environment for which it was designed. Availability is a measure of time requiring that a system is operational and accessible. Availability is a measure of time that a system is operational and accessible when it is required to be as such. Two factors influence reliability and availability. Mean time between failure, or MTBF, and mean time to repair, MTTR. MTBF is the predicated elapsed time between inherent failures of a system during operation. It is a number usually stated in hours, calculated by the manufacturer's design engineers, and is available in equipment specifications. MTTR is the average time it takes to fix a failed system, not including lead time for parts. MTBF influences both reliability and availability. MTTR affects availability. If MTBF can be extended and MTTR reduced, organizations can lessen the impact of costs associated with equipment downtime. There are two elements of the cost associated with equipment downtime. The first is the direct cost. The cost that includes the cost of labor factored by the number of hours employees are idle waiting for the equipment to be repaired. This labor cost also includes the extra cost of scheduling an additional shift, if necessary, to make up for the lost time. There's also the cost of parts and labor required to fix the system. Emergency repairs can often be double or triple the cost of a routine service and parts replacement. The second cost element is consequential costs. Consequential costs are more difficult to calculate, but are nonetheless a major factor in equipment downtime. What are the cost consequences of not meeting customers' delivery expectations in a just-in-time JIT operation? What is the cost of being the bottleneck in an otherwise efficient delivery operation? If you provide items to your own organization, such as MRO, or order to material picking applications, what is the consequence of not being able to provide the right part or item in a timely manner? Being proactive. The way to reduce costs associated with a system downtime is to anticipate stoppage caused by machine wear and by servicing the system to extend its effective lifetime. One approach to doing this is through a new program developed by Sapient Automation called Intelligent Machine Health Monitoring, or IMHM. The IMHM program is designed to remotely monitor horizontal and vertical carousel and VLM systems in real time, allowing the customer service group to respond prior to failure. The IMHM system remotely monitors critical maintenance thresholds, actual carousel and VLM usage, picks, runtime, and energy consumption levels in order to detect variances and anomalies that could lead to failure or performance issues. The moment the IMHM system detects anything out of the ordinary, a message is sent to the local service technician and to the central service monitoring group for immediate response. Depending on the issue, the facility service coordinator is contacted and a plan on how to correct the issue is discussed and executed. The IMHM program is free and takes less than three minutes of IT support for installation. Likewise, IMHM can be integrated on any existing horizontal, vertical carousel, or VLM regardless of manufacturer or age. Application of this program allows preventive maintenance to be scheduled at optimal times in the work cycle. 
such as during slow periods or before anticipated peak operating times. The result is planned approach to maintenance that anticipates stoppages and virtually eliminates unscheduled system downtime, extending equipment longevity and improving return on investment. Beyond maintenance. In addition to eliminating machine downtime, anticipatory maintenance uses the IMHM program offers additional insights into the system's operation. By analyzing system operating parameters, managers can better spot anomalies that can indicate potentially costly problems such as unsafe operation or poor use of the system, indicating inexperienced or undertrained operators. Anticipatory maintenance also helps organizations meet lean initiatives and sustainability or green objectives. The elimination of time wasted in unscheduled maintenance helps meet lean objectives and the added reliability of the system means that inventory can be managed more closely, eliminating the need for hedge or safety stock inventory. More efficient, reliable operations reduces overall energy requirements and labor requirements for picking operations, lowering an organization's overall carbon footprint. By proactively managing maintenance functions through remote monitoring, organizations can significantly improve the efficiency of their picking operations and the productivity of their workforce while boosting bottom line returns.